Well, I think any any time you try to take any type of intervention or any type of project, whether it's business or public health, and try to scale it up, I mean, you've got issues around, you know, is it going to be the same thing? You've got fidelity issues. You know, can you replicate things that are happen in a very small scale, and can you make them much larger? I mean, this is a problem not unique to public health. Um, I think one of the challenges are that part of the success of Project Lazarus was that there were a bunch of, a number of small, very committed individuals, and uh, they were able to uh, form together in Wilkes County, identify the problem. Um, they knew that there was an issue that they had to kind of deal with. They um, had a, 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 the data behind them. They had some ideas of what they think could really impact things in terms of co community mobilization and working with a lot of other people. Um, you know, they really saw this and they saw kind of what it, what it could be uh, kind of early on. And, you know, the challenge is, is as much as you want to replicate something like that um, at a grander scale, sometimes you don't have the commitment or the people who are like that. I mean, what we really needed is another 100 FREDs and 100, you know, Ks and 100 NABs because we have 100 counties. And so, you know, to do one thing in one county, you know, they had some situations, circumstances that made it somewhat unique. At the same point, there were also some commonalities between they weren't the only county experiencing some of these issues. Um, you know, and I think we found that, um, you know, and there was a conversation, a pretty specific conversation about, um, you know, can this even be scaled up? And I think folks at Wake Forest University had done kind of a, a, a study at one point to say, you know, what would it look like if we were to try to, to do this and, you know, is it feasible and is it possible? And I think, you know, the results were somewhat mixed, but the, the potential benefits outweighed the risks. And so I think a lot of people said, well, let's, let's move toward this. Let's see if, you know, how many other, other places can kind of replicate this if possible. Let's see if there's ways in which we can take the lessons learned from the one area and apply them to statewide areas. And, you know, again, even if you've got 100 counties, if you can get it to even work in a handful of counties, you're going to be far better off than you were before that.